Hi, everybody. Today we're going to talk about Haiku Deck, which is an iOS app. They actually also recently added a website, so we'll check that out kind of near the end of the tutorial. But let's get started. Okay, this is Haiku Deck, and let me just kind of give you an idea of what things can be done with Haiku Deck. So essentially it's it's a large search engine that has absolutely stunning Creative Commons cited images inside of it. And it's, it's really a simple presentation app. So you can search for these beautiful images and then you can add banners at the top, at the bottom, in the center. You can make it personal. You can create charts or add your own photos or screenshots in addition to searching on Haiku Deck for images as well. Some of the banners are at the top, some of them are in the middle, and some of them are at the bottom. So as teachers, we have all seen student PowerPoint presentations that they have created or Prezi's that they have created and they squish so as many words as they possibly can onto every single slide and then if they're presenting in front of the class typically what they do is they read right off of their slides and as we all know that's not really anything that's engaging or exciting to watch. So if you force them to use Haiku Deck instead, they can really only put a few words on each slide. So it really turns their presentations, pushes them forward in what they're able to do with their presentations. So this is just another example of ways that you can use Haiku Deck in the classroom or just in general. Pitch an idea, enliven a meeting, summarize a talk. This is a, a really visual tool so it's great for kids to use. It's also great for teachers to use to engage their students in learning about a, a particular concept in class. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can actually create one or how students can create one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this plus sign down here at the bottom because I'm going to add, I'm going to start a new haiku deck. So I'm going to click the plus sign. The first thing that it's going to ask you to do is to title your haiku deck. Typically when I have my students do this, they'll title it the topic that they're going to be creating their haiku deck about, and they may add their names or their partner's names or something like that. After you name your haiku deck, you're going to come to this screen. So let's talk about the buttons over here on the left hand side. The button at the top gives you, you know, options for your text. So do you want kind of a, a header in the middle with a subheader underneath it? Do you want bullet points? Do you want numbers? Or do you want several things in the center? Or do you want nothing? So oftentimes I will actually use nothing and just use a whole bunch of images. Let's go ahead and search for images, which is the second button down. What you do when you're searching for images is you just type something into the search box here, whatever it is that you're looking for. So let's say that we're doing a presentation on planets. So you just search for planets and up pops a whole bunch of options. Also over here you get similar tags. So if you're searching, you know, for astronomy, maybe hitting on that might be a better option or Venus in particular, Jupiter in particular, or we could kind of stick with um, planets. So as you scroll down, some of the options have dollar signs on them. So those are available for purchase, but many of them don't have that. And so those are available for free. So we can just kind of scroll down and see what's available. So I kind of like this one of the moon. So I'm going to go ahead and um, click the plus sign because I like that one after I see it in the preview. By the way, you can also move it around and you can scale it if you want it to be bigger or smaller or move it around or just kind of leave it where it, where it is. And then you click the plus sign when that slide is ready to go. And then it automatically populates you to your next slide. And just like you did before, you can click back on your image search and search for another image. So let's go ahead and go down and just kind of see what the other two, the green and the yellow options are here. So the green is your layout. So where exactly do you want your text to appear on the slide if you're using any text? So you have lots of different options here to pick from and you can scroll down and see all your different layout options. 
so you can change where your text appears. You can also add public notes, so you can include details, extra notes, links to other resources, and they will be published along with your haiku deck. So let's go back, because typically the three that I use are the, the three on the top. The text, anything that I want to say or have printed on onto my slide. So let's just go ahead and tap. Okay, and let's go ahead and change where we want that to appear. I want that to go into the center. So I will pick that one and let's go ahead and search for another image. I like that one. So I'm going to click plus because I like the way that that looks right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click the plus sign. And now, as you can see down here, I have my first slide and my second slide ready to go. And I can go back and edit them if I need to by tapping down here on the bottom. And it has already populated my, my third slide here. Let's look for Mars. Okay, that's a good one right there. So now I have three slides here. I have a moon that says nothing. I have wow space and I have Mars is amazing. Now let's say that I want my wow space slide to go first. What I would have to do in that case is copy it which will move it to the end and then I can delete the one at the front. Okay let's say that I'm done and I'm ready to preview what my haiku deck is going to look like when I play and do my presentation. So I'm going to tap on the play button in the top right hand corner and now I can actually see it full screen how it would look if I were presenting it to my class. And so I can talk about Mars. And so that is my presentation. So if you have AirPlay um, and Reflector, for instance, your students can get up, they can mirror their iPad onto your projector screen, and they can stand there with their iPad and their Haiku Deck app, and they can go through their presentation on whatever they created in class that day. So that's one way to use it. Now let's say that you actually want them to use these pictures elsewhere, like in Pic Collage, for instance. What they can do is screenshot, what's on their screen and now this image will appear in their camera roll and they can use this in some other application. So keep that in mind that there are multiple ways that students can use Haiku Deck and the images that are shown in here. Okay so let's say that I have done this and I want to actually do some more editing. I just tap my little pencil here and I can go right back into editing. Or let's say that I'm finished and I actually want to export this as a PowerPoint presentation. I would tap my, my little share arrow down here at the bottom and I'm going to go ahead and save and share. Now when you do this, what happens is it publishes it to Haiku Deck. So you can actually go into Haiku Deck and search for other decks that people have created, other presentations essentially that, that people have created. You can um, decide on your privacy level, whether it's public or private or restricted. Now a word of caution for this area, if you make it private or restricted, only you will be able to go back in and view that particular deck. So if you email it to somebody else, even if you email it to yourself on a different email that you're not using for Haiku Deck, you won't be able to open it, <laughs> even if you're emailing it to yourself. So I always set mine to private, or excuse me, I always set mine to public before I publish. So I'm going to go ahead and click, oh, let me select my category. Now I'm going to click publish. Now I have the option to share my Haiku Deck. So let's say, for instance, that I actually want to cr turn it into a PowerPoint presentation. So what I'm going to do is actually touch, so I could share it Facebook, Twitter, email, post to a blog, or I could convert it into a PowerPoint. So that's actually the one that I'm going to tap in this case. So I'm going to tap that and it will actually start turning it into a PowerPoint presentation. And now I can email it to myself and see at the bottom here it says this is a test haiku deck and it's actually a PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and email this to myself and I'll 
I'll explain to you in just a minute why you might want to do this and I'm going to go ahead and send that to myself. Now if you have an iPad classroom um, and your kids are using iPads in the classroom it could be that email is disabled for your students which is fine. You can still allow them to get up and use AirPlay and Reflector for instance to show what they have done on their iPad in a presentation space or like I, I showed you previously they could screenshot their images and their text and use it in a different way. So they could use it in a pic collage or they could upload it to a Padlet wall or something like that if you want them to demonstrate their learning in that way. So that's another option. Okay, let me pause here and I'm going to go ahead and open up my email and kind of show you what we can do with it in a different format. Be right back. Okay, so here we are in my email inbox and here's my, my email that I just sent to myself. So I'm going to go ahead and download this and I'm going to open it up. I'm going to enable editing. Okay, so here are our slides and what's nice about emailing it to yourself is that now you actually have the option to right click and save as a picture. Okay, so once you have this picture saved, you can use it in a whole lot of different formats. It will actually save it with the banner that you have put on top of it for your use. So if you just want the actual picture itself, you could, you know, save it like this, or if you actually want it with the banner on top of it, then, you know, you could put the banner on top of it in Haiku Deck before you export it to yourself as a PowerPoint and save it that way. So as you can see, here's the image that I saved with my banner on it and here's my blank image. So now I have all of these in a folder on my computer and I can save this. Um, now you can't edit what you have created here, but you could type on top of it. So if I want to insert text boxes or something like that, You could type on top of what you have created in Haiku Deck, but you can't change the way anything looks once you export it. It's sort of locked as, as how you created it in Haiku Deck. You can add to it, but you can't take any elements away. So keep that in mind. Now, why would you want to be able to do this? So let me show you how you can use these images. Just hang on for a minute. Let me get the next step ready and I'll be right back. This is the website where I house all the video tutorials that are in this series. And I have actually used Haiku Deck for some of the images on my website. So if you take a look at this wolf right here, this is from Haiku Deck. And if you look right down here at the bottom, you can see that the image is already cited. All the images in Haiku Deck are Creative Commons cited. Even on this moon down here, you can see the citation right here. So you're not violating or infringing on anybody's copyright and all of these images in Haiku Deck are beautiful and available for you. So that's what I love about Haiku Deck. I'm sure you can think of many, many, many uses for Haiku Deck, either for you to use as a teacher or for your students to use in the classroom. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions.